Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about a key theme for our time, and that is GIS helps. GIS helps. Joseph and Joseph here. The focus of this video is the theme GIS helps us understand space and place, space and place. GIS or Geographic Information Systems includes a wide variety of spatial data that can help us understand the scale of things from wildfires to earthquakes, from islands to ocean currents, and how those places are related to each other in terms of physical and human constructed flows, including air and ocean currents, patterns of trade and tourism, and supply chain flows, including agriculture and manufacturing. In my way of thinking, all of these are flows. And because they're flows, they have an origin, a destination, and a width and a breadth to them. They have a volume, and they, they occur over different spaces in time. So all of these things can be modeled effectively with a geographic information system. Well, what do you mean? I mean the map is a tool to help us understand flows in a geographic information systems context more deeply, more holistically. I love paper maps as you do, but putting the data into a geographic information system allows us to really pick apart the, the nuances, uh, both qualitative and quantitative, I would argue. Putting the data on the map also is not the highest goal. Remember the ultimate goal, as I explain in other videos, is to understand and then to take, take action. action. Oh, I get it. Well said. I always said, you know, mom and dad gave you all of the brains. Well, you didn't say that when we were younger. Well, I've become wiser. But Joseph reminds me of a set of quizzes that I created using GIS so that you can see how the application of spatial thinking can be used to understand the world through GIS, specifically through instruction. Cool. Let's examine them. Let's examine these islands as part of the quiz. Pretty cool, hey? Yes, you made that quiz with the presentation mode in ArcGIS Online, I see. Yes, I did. And you can do the same thing. I like it, but aren't you advocating place name memorization here? No, rather fostering spatial and place or placial knowledge. This will help you in your future decision making. If you're using GIS to make decisions about the world, it is important to know things about the world. Yes, actually having certain things committed to memory, I believe, is important. Not rote memorization of facts, like the imports and exports of, of Peru in 1990. No, we're not advocating that, but understanding where Peru is, what its physical and cultural environment is, where it's situated on the coast, how it's connected to other countries in South America, its relative size compared to Brazil, for example, and so on. Learning things in context. Ah, so when you learn about where Greenland is, for example, understanding its political past and why it's such an important part of the interaction between climate, weather, and oceans. Yeah, I get it. In each part of the quiz, you have to use your spatial thinking about shapes, sizes, scale, land use, landforms, population centers, and so on. Let's now examine that name that place quiz.
Well, I hope this was fun and interesting. You can create your own GIS-based quizzes, your own GIS-based quizzes, using these guidelines in this essay, with many more examples. GIS helps us understand our world, place, and space. GIS helps foster geographic literacy. Thanks. Thanks.